Hello and welcome back to the channel and now you join me for this week's Forzathon guide called Beer Hoonicorn which wants you to own and drive the 1965 Ford Hoonicorn Mustang to complete all the challenges with. So without further ado, let's get stuck in. Now there are two different Hoonicorn Ford Mustangs. I recommend going for the grey one as that's what's shown in the thumbnail for this week's Forzathon. Um, you can probably use either but the grey one is one I'd recommend and it will set you back half a million credits. Also, one thing to note is I'm not using a tune for this week's one, as you really don't need one. Now, the first challenge here simply wants you to win a street race. So to do that, I recommend heading over to the Costa Rocosa street race, which is where I've got a blueprint made specifically for these Forzathon guides. So it's called Forzathon Easy, and the share code is there on your screen now. It's a mere one lap race, not even a lap, just a point to point with no AI driver tiles, you're guaranteed a win, and it should take you no more than a couple of minutes, really, really quick and easy to complete for the first challenge there. Now, the next challenge here wants you to smash uh, a taco cart in your 65 Hoonicorn Mustang. So to do this, I recommend heading over to the main city of Guanajuato. Um, and as you can see, I'm located pretty much in the center by the cathedral. In fact, there's actually a road race there. It's by a sort of different where the road splits by the cathedral circuit so just in front of that big yellow cathedral there is a taco cart that you can smash there are loads dotted around guanajato but that's probably one of the easiest to find and just around the corner there's another one as well so a really easy second challenge there now the third and final one simply wants you to earn seven ultimate drift or e-drift skills now you can do this staying in guanajato if you want to do that but if you want a really easy way to do it, I recommend heading over to one of the main airstrips, in particular the one at the main Horizon Festival. Here, all you have to do is run up and down the airstrip, and it's very, very easy because you have loads of space to get ultimate e-drift or drift skills. Obviously, the difference between a normal drift and an e-drift is the use of the handbrake. The handbrake will earn you the e-drift, and not using the handbrake, just initiating the drift on your own, will earn you the normal drift skill. So it's pretty simple. Um, and to get seven of them, it won't take you more than 30 to 40 seconds sort of thing. It's very quick and easy to do, especially using this car, as it's absolutely mental. Um, and pardon the pun, it's great to hoon around in. But anyway, that is this week's Forzathon guide. Don't forget to stick around for this week's photo challenge guide coming later on. Um, um, but if you have any questions or if you're struggling with any of the challenges in this week's Forzathon, please do let me know down below in the comments. I'm more than happy to help you guys out. If this video did help you out and you're new to the channel, I'd very much appreciate if you could subscribe and dropping a like massively helps me out as well. But apart from that, folks, I want to wish you all the best. Make sure you stay safe and take care.